Hey, I'm back here again. I got back in again. Oh man, for no real reason, but let's just check what happens if you go to the boss room now. Do you just get teleported? Oh my god, you fight him again? You fight him again? What the crap? So every time you uh every time you want to like change into this suit, if you want to play as something else, you would have to fucking refight this entire boss. Really? That's that's quite insane. Uh I'm not sure if I should bother. I I kind of want to just check it out, but it's probably a bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad idea. Whatever. Let's let's just I'm just going to kill myself. It's pretty quick here. Well, that's interesting. Did not think that would be a thing. I thought it would just spawn like a teleporter that you could take into the costume change room. Huh. Wait, so how do you do things again? Right. There we go. Also found a little bit of a bug. This door. For some reason, shows up as an X mark, even though it's open. And this one, which was the exact same, does not. So, I don't know. Probably a bug? But yeah, now we can actually exit. And now, we can start to look into other secrets. There were quite a few. So, first off, I want to look at the... The secret that was the, uh... Oh god. Oh right, wrong way. Oh man, it feels so weird to be this tiny guy. I wonder if he has like a different hitbox? If it's an, an actual advantage or if it's just the, uh, the interesting part of it, like being a weird thing. And the hitbox might be the same. I just want to check over here quickly. Ah, I do have it. So you don't need to refight the boss every time. Okay, cool. So we can actually change around to whatever I want. It's like, I kind of... I do like this one. Probably the most of them all, but... What? What just happened? How the... Wait. Oh, did I, like, do this? Ah, I must have done that. Yeah, that was... That was weird. I do like that suit, but I guess I'll be the potato just because... Potato. Hold on, before I do... Okay, lots of secrets. Oh man, there's like a ton of things, but... One thing I wanted to talk about and show you is that I found... Where was that again? That was down here. All the way down here. Oh, shit. Inside here, I found our good friend. This chick, the puzzle lady. Hi, your adventure is almost over, huh? So is my vacation. I'll just check out this beautiful swamp a bit longer. So, apparently, she shows up at, like, different points in the world, depending on how many raft pieces you have. And apparently, again, from the comments, thank you for all the information. It's been super helpful and it's really, really cool. So apparently, in here... Ah... I never even, like, register this. He paints different, different images, different, uh, paintings to, to sort of just show you a general little hint for where you can find her. That's super interesting, and I definitely, I really want to try and find her at every point in the game, but unless there's actually a reason to replay the entire game, like, it would do something more, I don't think I'm gonna do that on camera. I might try that on my own because that is really interesting and I'm very curious about what she says about everything. But yeah, I found her and then I was told that in the comments afterwards. So it was like really cool because I was gonna come back to this episode and just say, well not this one, the, the last one. I was gonna say like, oh I found her again and don't know what the hell is up with that or how you could possibly know where she is. That's how you know how where, where she is. It's really cool. I like that a lot. So... Now we can go to... Okay, before we get into major stuff, let's check this one out. I did find 
probably what's just a tiny little cave, I would imagine, but let's check it out. Right here. That was the, the one, the hint. Ah, yeah. Art installation, evil laugh practice. It's pretty good. I can't destroy it though. Oh god. I wonder how... Oh. I was gonna say, I wonder how long this goes on for. I think it just restarted. Okay. But yeah, I got that hint that there was something very close to the art gallery that I had missed, and that was it. Interesting. I'm assuming it restarted at the beep. I hope I didn't, like, miss anything. If you stand there for seven and a half minutes, you get taken to another place. Oh god. Now, though, now we can actually go and do some interesting stuff. So first off, that whole sign business, the four signs that were spelling out, like, enter the spruce next to the treasure chest, apparently that is in here, in Moon Garden, one of the last portal worlds that I found. And apparently it's talking about this one. Hold on, also I found this kind of an exploit right here. These guys can't go in here, so you can just, like, spam them out like this, or force wand and they can't really do anything. And you can even kill the, the pirate dude, even though he blocks stuff, you can use this one, and that goes like through shields and shit. I don't know if it goes through shields, but it definitely damages him still. Yeah, you can see there, he's just like dead now. Kind of neat. But not that we need to kill them, but still. Apparently he was talking about these Spruce trees, not sure exactly how you would know that. I guess it's a secret for, for a reason. Like, it's meant to be very tricky to, to find, and maybe you're meant to find it on subsequent playthroughs and not really the first time through. And then when you come here another time, you would realize, oh shit, there's a chest next to a spruce tree. Amazing. Abyssal Plain. Oh god. Oh god. I thought I would fall off if I, like, veered off the path. I see. Tipsy? Oh god, potato tipsy, I forgot. Now what? We're on the ocean floor. Good thing we know how to hold our breaths indefinitely since that incident with the juice box. That's very convenient. Oh my god, what is this? Super hint. Super hint, okay. Super hint, after beating a dungeon's boss, Tipsy can tell you whether you missed any chests in that dungeon. She also informs you of certain boss projectiles that cannot be blocked or reflected. Yeah, I know that, I realize that, but that's very good to know. Super hint, you can freely change direction during the first part of your roll. Use this to safely get rid of enemy projectiles sim- Oh, I see. Simply roll into a projectile, then reverse direction mid-roll. Exactly, and this is quite interesting, so I guess I should have done this before the fight with a potato. I mean, I figured it out on my own, but that is definitely very, very good for that fight. Especially for, like, getting rid of projectiles more than anything. Super hint, there are 36 secret shard locations. Once you have found 24 shards, the rest turn into portal world scrolls. If you've uncovered all 15 portals, portal worlds, they turn into cave scrolls instead. I actually had someone mention exactly this in the comments, so I already knew that, but cool that they have that in the game. I wasn't aware of that. Super hint. There are four deterministic item drop tables used by enemies, depending on the enemy's class. Defeat 30 enemies, or 10 in a row without taking damage, to get something from their super table instead. Interesting. So that's how you get, like, the, uh... The super power-ups and all that, I guess. Also, I have a feeling... I think someone might have mentioned something about there being an... Ah, probably right there. Another secret in the Abyssal Plane. More than what you can see. And yeah, that's probably the bubbles. Yeah, I would be very surprised if that's not a, a thing that's like very obvious. 
Can you see that on the map? You can't. Yeah, there we go. Place from younger days. Oh, is this like a throwback to uh, the, the fucking prototype it'll do game? I think so. I actually tried to play that. There's a uh, prototype. It'll do prototype. Which is like a super old, very, very Zelda 1 inspired or Zelda inspired in general. Like even more than the other games or the, the real it'll do games. And I tried to play it, but I got stuck at some part. Like, really stuck, and I spent probably an hour just walking around trying to do everything, and I was, like, actually stuck. I couldn't even exit the area I was in, so I have a feeling that was, like, I did something I wasn't meant to do, but, yeah, never beat it, never tried it again after that, but I should. It was pretty cool. You should check it out. If you played It'll Do 1 and 2, but you haven't played the prototype, check it out. Yeah, it's the prototype. This is all, like very close to what the prototype was. But I guess it's not gonna be... It's not like the, the exact same. There are no enemies like there were, like, not the same enemies at least. Oh, man. Yeah, it's probably more of a throwback. Tipsy? Where are we? Oh, right. Yeah, Tipsy. Wait. Was she with you or not in the prototype? I can't remember. There was some story, and I can't remember the story. Huh. Wish this was fresher in my memory so I could actually know what I'm talking about. Oh, man. What is even going on? Also, we're still underwater, apparently. Alright, so so far it's just like taking you through the uh, the layout roughly. It's a bit different, but kind of similar to... Uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Well, I hope there will be another episode past this so that I can do that in between. I think I... I don't think I'll have time to do all the secrets in this episode because, yeah, I don't really want to do that on camera, just pausing everything and noting that down and taking screenshots or writing it down and then making sure to translate everything. So hopefully I can do that in between episodes. I wonder if we're gonna find the other part in this dungeon? Oh, is that another portal world or just an exit? Oh, hi. Oh, God, it's the Scarecrow, dude. Click. Seven years elapsed. This adventure has... I'm just... I'm not gonna bother with any voices, sorry. This adventure has expired. Playing back secret recording. Yar, it's finally complete. My biggest castle yet. Positively bursting with puzzles and treasure. That's probably Item Carver. Passel. You should come down and see it for yourself. You won't believe your eyes. There are maps, weapons, items, hired thugs, and secret rooms. Though I ran out of money and couldn't afford to hire a boss. But who cares about imperfections, eh? There, there'll always, always be the next one I build. Wait, so... Is he talking about the Grand Library, maybe? And that's why Passel is the boss there? Aye, I know what you're going to say. You'll think I've gone... Gone various kinds of fruits. Such as bananas. Who am I, creating these frivolous ex escapades when I could use my skills for the betterment of the world? Well, I don't have an excuse. I am just a nostalgic fool, you see, highly occupied with my own corner of life. But there is something beautiful in crafting a puzzle so- just so- What? Crafting a puzzle just so, in hiding a secret just right. Okay. I know that this castle will fade over time. Far in the future, any possible means to experience it will be gone. But is that so bad then? What is the value of something that lasts forever? Treasure it now, I say, and remember it fondly. Passel, listen here. My next adventure will have a huge two-story castle, three smaller dungeons, and a master cave. I see. 
Oh, so this is the prequel! What a twist! It's actually, this island is like the original island, and the it'll do one island is his second island. Interesting. And after that, I'll find an island with eight improbably distinct areas and fill them with caves, secrets, and eight dungeons. Wait, no it's not. So this, where we are now, is the original, because of the, the prototype thing. And it'll do two is still, okay, it's still a sequel, never mind. It will be so grand, I might even have to build something to playtest it for me, as I'm assuming you're not interested. But as you grow old, even you will look back at the adventures of your youth with an indescribable feeling in your heart. Arr, as sure as my name is Iken Carver, one day I will make you realize what I was trying to accomplish. Yeah, there we go. I mean, nothing really that we didn't already know, but that's kind of cute. And if I just leave and come back? You don't get it again. Alright. But what about the, the message? Shit. Can I find the message in this dungeon, I wonder? Did I just miss it? Or maybe it's, like, hidden away in another secret somewhere, somewhere else. Huh. And I guess, I guess the comment you said about... Uh, there being multiple paired signs was actually true, like, out in the world as well. There were more than one type of paired signs, but still interesting. So now, where do we go now? Let me check my little list of things. Uh, moon garden. Right, okay, so... Wait, just a sec. Uh, yeah, I think... The main thing I have left to do is over in... Wait, where was that again? That was in... Starwoods. Starwoods, okay. I just had to, like, check my notes. Starwoods, and then you go to this screen with a secret dungeon. And there's a thing I missed, a pretty obvious one. I, I don't think there's any, like, hint for this one. No, uh sign that points you to it, but it does there doesn't need to be, because holy shit, this one is actually quite obvious. In here, in Former Colossus. Oh, it didn't even show the, the name, of course. But yeah, right here, Former Colossus. There's a fairly, fairly obvious secret right here. And I just didn't even see that. Oh my god, Cave of Mystery! Oh shit. Oh no. Do I want to kill Epithetic Frog? Tipsy? I don't get it. Neither do I, Tipsy. Not even that. I guess Apathetic Frog just can't be killed. I wonder if something happens if you, like, hit him 5,000 times. Huh. Or maybe... Maybe that's the opposite of what, he, what you do, because he's Apathetic Frog. Maybe you just, like, sit here, apathetically, and something would happen. But there is this one, this thing, which I guess I'll check out. Note to self, this is the only non-dungeon puzzle on this island that cannot be solved with just a stick. I see. Because you have to have the fucking blowy up thing. Even just the ice ring doesn't work. That's not enough. And now we're in somewhere. Oh man. This guy again. Oh! We're back in the... Uh, it'll do one? Yeah, there's like it'll do one music playing. North Condemned. And here's Iken Carver's store. Yep, abandoned house. Gone to find new business opportunities. I Carver. It's like all the songs from Italy One, but remixed, I guess. Huh. This brings back memories. It was a long time ago, huh? This guy started traveling with us, then opened up a novelty skull shop. We got one for decorating our raft. Right, Idle? 
Wait, really? So that's why Aiton Carver isn't here? Oh, and that's why I thought like Aiton was dead because of the skull. But I guess it was just his his skull shop. Maybe that's the point. Huh. My head feels funny. It's like we're in a dream or something. A fantastic dream. Okay, just checking the sides, making sure. Oh man, this remix is awesome. I kind of just want to listen to this. Huh. I'm pretty sure it's gonna stop when I enter the castle. Guess we'll do it though. Yeah, Ludo City, interesting. Hey, can't you see this is a bathroom? Is that supposed to be toilet paper? No? It's just a line directing you to the bathroom, I guess? Joel, the boss. Are all light rays, if there is such a thing, zero seconds old? What? Oh, here's business casual man. Service interruption, re resiliency, achievements for interactive consumption, interpreting performance counters. Or performance counters, I don't even know. Oh, I don't think the rating boards will like this one. Oh dear. What have you done? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm here at Ludo City. This is the best thing since Lud Lud Ludcon? Ludcon 94. Wait, did I check the, uh, the plaque here? Meeting room. Yeah, okay. Stefan, programmer, and Daniel, designer. I know it's not really pronounced that way in Swedish, but you'll have to make do with Americanized pronunciations of your names. A new feature? I've already implemented it. The improved structure of this game allows me to sneak in more secrets than ever before. Is that is that Daniel? I swear it's Daniel. God damn it, Daniel, you and your secrets. Anton, lead, lead artist, Nils artist. We each have an increasing value within us that gives us game over when it's maxed out. Oh god, that's grim. So I guess th these are all like messages that all of them just wrote down and put in, like they all just wrote one line themselves. We should save the mobile market. Should we? Should we really? Prototype room. We are actual fans of this company. We are not getting bribed to stand around and act enthusiastic at all. There he is. It's that snake. You know, that one. Yeah, it's the hype snake. Apparently they don't like him. I like hype snake. Matthias, programmer and musician. Don't come in here. I'm in voluntary quarantine. Music room. So this is where the music gets made. I'm so thrilled and totally not paid off to say that. Video games. Just, oh God. Video games. Holy shit. Um, I don't know. Holy shit. Oh my God. What the fuck? I don't really think I have I, I'm, I'm gonna check that out next time, okay? I just wanted to finish up this, uh, dead. This area. Chill room. Yeah, there's a chest here. Learning room. What a mysterious room. What could its purpose be? Start a new game and enter frog mode as the file name. For experts only. Oh. Is that, like... For experts only? Oh, man, is that actually, like... You play the game and it's different? It's like hard mode? That would be interesting. Holy crap, am I actually- Oh, you got the a secret art gallery. Check it out in the main menu. Do I actually have to play this game an entire time again? Holy shit. Laura, project manager. You know what the game needs? More dragons. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. 
Oh, that's probably it. I don't remember. Was that like, does that correspond to uh, the thing I just found? Or maybe this is a different one. I'll check it out in editing. And finally, fire exit. There's a gravel parking lot. The skies are gray. Someone's run over a sign. What? It's probably a reference to something I don't even know. Oh shit, I didn't even check what Tipsy says in here. I'm going to pretend this never happened. I guess that's it. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave it here. Holy crap, this was one hell of an easter egg. We'll try out that, that fucking video game next time. And... Oh man, yeah. Let me know if you have anything else that I need to do. Because otherwise, I mean, I might check out the hard mode thing at the end. And just see if it's actually... Like, is it actually different? Or is it just like, oh, you, you die in one hit. Always. Because I'm not sure I'm up for doing that on camera if that's the case. So unless it's like actually interesting in some way, probably not going to do it. But we'll see. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.